Okay, good day everybody, welcome back to episode 7. So let's check it out. Okay, guys, first things first, um, let's take the battery we just put on charge earlier. We put that bat new battery in for the charge battery. There we go, let's just add the battery to the, the Hellcat, not the Hell Kitty, guys, remember? We were doing the Hellcat, not the Hell Kitty, right? So battery's 100%, that's done and dusted. There we go, next item on the list, radiator. Radiator type C. Okay, ours is a bit busted, so let's go quickly buy a new one. Uh, let's uh, just search for this uh, radiator type C. Let's see what can, what's going to pop up. Radiator A, radiator C. Okay, here we go. That's the correct one. Now, let's go add this uh, radiator type C. There we go. Brand spanking new, guys. Brand spanking new. All right, what's next? What's next? Uh, let's lift up the car and check out the undercarriage. There we go. Do have to do the whole suspension, the wheels, and everything. So let's start with the suspension. There we go. Let's front axle, bottom suspension. This is the suspension arm. There we go. Connect it. Uh, top susp upper suspension arm. There we go. Let's connect them. Next on the list. What's next on the list? Okay, the wishbones. Okay, we need to uh, get that sorted out as well. That's steering rack. There we go. Front sway bar. Inner tie rod ends. There we go. There we go. Let's connect these. Upper tire. Yeah. There we go. Bit going a bit quick. Can hardly read what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, let's just continue, guys. Let's just continue. Let's not uh, waste too much time. Try not to make this too much of a long video. Just add whatever we whatever we need. As you can see, I still have a, quite a few spare parts here that's new. Whenever we run out of parts, we're just gonna search for them, buy them, add them. No problem. I can see I'm busy running out of some spare parts here. Guys, please don't forget about these little. These little ones, yeah, you will always forget them, you always forget them at the end. The rubber bushings, guys, don't forget them, please. I forget them several times on all my vehicles, so. At the end, I always leave this one part short. And then it turns out to be that little rubber wishbone, little rubber, rubber keys. Starter motor, you need to get a new starter motor as well. Okay, let's go search starter motor. Starter. Search it and which one is the one we want? This one, this one, I'm mistaken. V8, yes, V8. This guy's doing a nice Hellcat. It's starting to take nice shape. Front exhaust. Okay, we still got one left. Let's start with the left hand side of the car. Okay. Let's see what, what else we can get. Well, so we make sure we don't short anything. I see we're running out of uh, little rubbish over here. So there we go. Sway bar. It's the link. And the upper suspension on. Okay, there's some parts we need. So let's go search them quickly. There we go. Rubber bushings, rubber bushings, guys. The rubber bushing and the small rubber bushing. You will always, always forget those things. So make sure you stacked up. I uh, generally buy about 50 of them at one time. So whenever I'm going through my cars, I usually use most of them, or at least half. So if you buy 50 to 100 at a time, you're sorted to about two, maybe three cars, sometimes four. So yeah, so make sure you buy enough of those. I always keep a lot in stock. Let go to the brakes. Come on, guys, let's go for the brakes. Let's do a bit speed. Let's see how quick we can finish this score. Now, when you first start off with this game, take your time with it. As soon as you get used to it and you know exactly what to do and what must go away, then you can go a bit quicker. Like now, we are um, just not, when I say speed running it, uh, just. Uh, going as quick as possible as so we bought most of the parts already so we should be good to go 
the part it takes a long time is actually going to check what you need then buying the parts that takes a long time especially if you buy the wrong parts but if you got the right ones no, it goes quick like this man it goes quick like this so there we go doing starting the back sus the rear suspension now fuel tank yeah we need a new fuel tank let's go check for a new fuel tank maybe we buy a nice one maybe we just buy a plain one Ugh, let's just check okay let's just buy this plain one yeah there we go fitted the fuel pump yeah there's a fuel pump and then the drive shaft let's go for a drive shaft let's go search it out and make sure we get the right drive shaft so that's what takes time if you don't have the sp uh, the spare parts needed then that takes time to actually go and get it if you, especially if you don't know it <coughs> you're going to struggle for it but if you have more more or less a lot of extra spare parts in your inventory then you should be good to go especially when it's the correct parts uh, you should be good to go so let's put all new parts in this car remember we're not doing a, a, st a like a, a bad job we're going to do a, a good job so even the car is going to be repainted search of the axle knuckles there we go let's tighten these bolts nice and good okay now the brake shoes yeah we still got two good so that's fine um, again look at the back small rubber bushing guys small rubber bushing remember the small rubber bushing you have to make double sure that you do not forget it and whenever you forget it it will tell you your car's incomplete then you're gonna struggle you gotta strip parts and check everywhere so do it right once and you'll be fine that'll be good to go there we go leaf spring okay U bolt one down one to go there we go yeah yeah rubber bushing rubber bushing gosh rubber bushing small rubber bushing cannot stretch it enough make sure you have a lot so if you don't need to continue looking for for them when you're doing cars especially when you're going to do a lot of cars at one time just make sure you have enough like I said go 50 go 100 whatever you can buy buy the max there we go now another brake shoes brake drum let's say so what's left is what tires rims so if you do do do, do tires and rims let's check as well uh, we got I think we also did this the uh, suspension huh? the oh the the, uh, the shock absorbers but let's do this let's start off here quickly the tires and the rims if you have them separated you know what to do you know what to get it's easy okay so let's go search what we need just make sure you search the correct part number and uh, type that you need so we're going to do the classic rim and uh, the 09c so uh, we get four of those now we go to tires uh, for now let's take this the race tire b take four of them size 18 inches width 215 profile uh, what 65 so okay let's go for this there we go now to attach them why is it doing this now did I buy that the wrong stuff ah selecting the wrong rim there we go it's a, this is the one we just bought now right yeah there we go now we're doing now we're in for business now all you just gotta do is just add your tires to your rims all four of them then you have to balance them with the balancing equipment on the left hand side of it so let's select the correct rim again there we go number two 
but let's see if it just balance this one as well. Same time, safe. Safe time with this. Alrighty guys, well, we will do the rest later and in episode 8. I think episode 8 should be the last one and we should be done and dusted with the score. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget uh, to like, subscribe and enjoy.